What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you tons of cleaning motivation as we prepare for the upcoming Christmas season. We're gonna be rearranging furniture in our living room, giving our kitchen a much needed deep clean. And of course, there is going to be a Christmas decor haul in today's video. I can't wait to share some of my favorite 2023 Christmas decor finds and give you guys a ton of cleaning motivation. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. We have lots of fun Christmas content planned for the season and I cannot wait to take you along for all the fun. I'm gonna start out in my living room. I'm gonna clear off the couch, vacuuming, and then moving our furniture out of the way so we can really deep clean underneath everything. I found lots of dust bunnies and toys from our puppy Lola that she was very excited to play with that she hadn't seen in a while. If any of you guys are new here and this is your first time watching, I just wanna give you a quick little rundown of who I am. So my name is Olivia and I live in Minnesota with my husband Marshall and our puppy Lola. We purchased our first home last year and we've been spending pretty much any extra time renovating it to make it our own. I do have a full playlist with all the renovation and projects on my channel. If you wanna check it out, I can link it down below. But I've been doing YouTube for just about five years now. I also have a full-time corporate job outside of social media. However, I do get to work from home, which is really nice. I share lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and of course, decorating videos on my channel. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It is completely free. Our official kickoff to Christmas 2023 is November 1st, so make sure to mark your calendars. And if you want to be notified when kickoff to Christmas starts, you can also hit that bell notification so that YouTube notifies you when that video goes live. With all of that being said, if you are new here, I would love to know where you're watching from. Please let me know down below in the comments. Say hi. I love chatting with you all and seeing new faces and I just love to see where all of you are from. Right now, I'm contemplating on how to rearrange this living room. This couch is just a couple pieces from our large sectional. The remaining pieces of our sectional are just stored down in our basement right now. And the layout up here is just, I would say very awkward. The window placements are not in the best spots. However, I do love how much light they let in, but trying to map out where to put a TV stand and a couch is a little difficult, especially because we're also dealing with a stair railing. We will also be purchasing new furniture and they're gonna be much smaller pieces for up here once we get that basement finished. Um, and then this furniture that we have up here is gonna be moving downstairs, which is another reason I don't wanna mount this TV. I know I've had several of you comment that we should just mount the TV on the wall and that's a great idea, but it's not gonna stay up here. So I don't wanna go through all of that just to have to patch all of those holes up. So if you guys have any input or recommendations on how to rearrange this, let me know down in the comments. I want to leave this picture window open if I can so that we can set up our Christmas tree in front of the window. And I want to avoid putting the couch in front of the stair railing because I have plans to decorate it with garland and I just don't want the couch to cover it up. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a predicament. I just don't know what the best rearrangement is for this space. So if you have any input or recommendations, I would love to hear them. So I get lots of questions on our living room rug. I will make sure to link it down below, but I snagged this on sale earlier this year for only $75. It does go in and out of sale quite often, and it has been perfect at hiding any stains or spills, and the best part is it's been super easy to clean up. So I'll link this one down below. They do have several different color options. I think the brand is Loli. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure, but again, if you wanna check it out, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Oh, 
I highly encourage you all to take this as a sign to pull out all of your furniture and really clean under it once in a while. I thought I was doing a great job cleaning and vacuuming underneath it, but once I actually moved everything, I got the couch out and the TV stand, I really saw just how much dust can collect underneath those things. So as part of your routine, make sure you are moving those bigger furniture pieces and really cleaning under them because they do get really dirty. <laughs> I'm pulling out our new throw blanket and you guys, I am so happy about this find. These checkered throws are so popular right now and I did almost buy one on Amazon. But in my head, I knew I wanted it for Christmas and my Christmas theme this year is gonna be more reds and whites. And so I didn't wanna buy the one on Amazon because I, that one was green and white, which would have still looked great, but I wanted it to be the focus of my Christmas colors. And when my husband and I were shopping, he actually found this one at Marshall's over the weekend and I was overjoyed to say the least. But speaking of Christmas colors, I would really love to know what you guys are doing this year. Just let me know down below in the comments what your theme is. Do you stick to the same color scheme every year or do you like to switch things up year to year? I definitely like to switch things up. However, I cannot afford to change our entire theme every single year. So several years ago, what I did is I went ahead and purchased mostly all white for our Christmas tree ornaments, throw pillows, blankets, etc. so that when I wanted to add in pops of color or change my theme, I knew it would be easy because white is a really good neutral base color. So this year I'm doing red. Next year, if I want to do like a dark green, I can, or even if I get, you know, it in me and I want to do blue and white, I can do that because I have all of the base color of white. And I think that's just going to make it so much easier. And I don't have to go out and spend just a ton of money every year on new decor. And this year I have all of the white decor I need already. And so I do have a few red items, but I know whenever I'm out shopping, I know what I need to look for so I don't just waste money on things. And I also don't wanna buy things that I'm not gonna be able to reuse year after year. Hopefully all of that just made sense. But again, I would love to know what you guys are doing this year for your Christmas decor, so let me know down below in the comments. I decided to include this footage in today's video. I'm gonna set up my new fan. I think it was in my last video or maybe it was the one prior to that, but I was complaining about how our fan was going out and it would make this horrible sound throughout the night and then stop. We never knew when it was gonna hit and it was just the most awful sound. So when I was at Walmart over the weekend, I just finally pulled the plug and just bought a new fan. It was only $30, nothing exciting, but I'm really looking forward to having this sound again at night. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have to sleep with a fan or some type of noise, or if you can sleep in like dead silence. I absolutely cannot sleep in a still quiet room. I mentioned this recently, but I do have a fan app on my phone. So if I'm ever somewhere that doesn't have a fan, like a hotel or I'm staying at someone's house, I play that fan app because I just need some type of noise. I'm gonna take a quick break from cleaning and just give you guys a Christmas decor haul of everything that I picked up this weekend. So Marshall and I went to Home Goods, Marshall's, and then I went to Walmart today to do a grocery pickup and then I went inside just to check out what they have for Christmas. 
This first thing is this red and white check blanket. It is so soft, so pretty, and I feel like the checkered print is so in this year. They have one on Amazon that has like green checkered. I was really wanting a red one and I found one. I got this at Marshall's for $24.99. And then I've been wanting this cookbook. I have the other two and I thought it would be perfect for Christmas time and Home Goods had it for only 20 bucks. So I picked that up, really excited to decorate with this for Christmas because of the dark green. I think it's so pretty. And then, let's see. The only other thing I really got at Home Goods was some gift wrapping supplies. This is velvet red ribbon. And then some gift tags. I go through these like crazy every year. Marshall picked these ones out. They're just a green Christmas tree. I think it's just green. Yeah, it looks like green on all of them. And then this just says Merry Christmas. And then let me get everything out from Walmart and I'll give you guys a haul. Walmart had some really cute stuff, but I didn't get a whole lot, just a few things. Um, so again, at Home Goods, I picked up some velvet ribbon. Walmart had velvet ribbon as well, just in a very thicker size. And then I also picked up this white velvet ribbon. Thought it was so pretty. Let's see. This is $2.98, and this one is just about $5. I also picked up some gift bows. The last few years, I think the last three years, my theme has been white and gold. This year, I'm going back to the traditional red, gold, greens, and I am so excited. Um, let's see, this is something I could not pass up. I cannot wait to decorate with these bells. These have been popular at least one year, maybe two, but for only $12.88, they're so durable, they're heavy, they don't feel cheap at all. I think they're so pretty, and my plan is last year after christmas i picked up some garland at home goods on after christmas sale so i'm hoping i can somehow incorporate it on this and then maybe have the bells there i don't know i'm excited to play around with that and then i just picked up some tupperware for cookies and you guys know i have that really big white or flocked christmas tree i really want to do a old-fashioned christmas tree so my mom had some old shine bright or shiny bright ornaments that kind of look like this they're just the vintage ones and those are so much money online if you go on ebay or anything like that they don't sell them anymore um, because i don't think they make them anymore you have to buy them at like thrift stores online facebook marketplace things like that and walmart had some old-fashioned ones that i thought were so pretty and for only 5.98 i picked up this shape and then just the standard round bulbs but I thought they were so pretty. And then I did also order a pack of like red, it's not velvet material. I don't know how to explain it. I'll have to show you guys, but my plan is to go cut down a tree somewhere on our property. We have a hundred acres. We should hopefully be able to find one and then be able to decorate it with all of those old fashioned ornaments. And then we'll have the big flock tree up here. But this stuff is just making me so excited to decorate for Christmas this year. I couldn't help myself. I had to get this blanket put out. I think it looks so cute. It's going to be so cozy. And yes, I am watching Home Alone <laughs> to get me in the spirit. But I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff away and then start tackling the messy kitchen. I went ahead and put this kitchen island cleanup on some sort of a time lapse. This island gets so messy and if we don't keep up on it daily, it just turns into a disaster. Our dishes were also incredibly piled up this day. My husband had prepped food. I had made homemade cinnamon rolls, plus all of our other dishes that we had used throughout the weekend just caused an overflow and made this kitchen and space just so messy. So I went ahead and put this on a time lapse so I don't bore you just trying to pick everything up. I want to say though, shout out to my husband. He was nice enough to start the dishwasher while I was into town getting groceries. So that was a nice little surprise to come home to. It was needed. <laughs> there were so many and you guys can still see our sink is still full even with a dishwasher cycle going. And I didn't want to have to wait for that cycle to end, have to put all of those away so I could just reload it and start another load. It just feel like that was just going to be a waste of time. So I went ahead. Once I got the kitchen picked up, I just tackled through all of the rest of the dishes by hand.
If you follow me over on Instagram, I shared the recipe on stories, but you guys need to save the cinnamon roll recipe that I tried out this last weekend. It was so good. I have tried several over the years and this was by far the easiest recipe to follow and the most delicious. And I know making homemade anything can take a lot more time, especially with like breads and doughs because you have to allow for rise time. But I prepped these cinnamon rolls the night before took them out of the fridge for about 45 minutes to an hour before I wanted to bake them and they were perfect. I think the recipe said they cook for only like 14 minutes or something like that, but we had to cook ours for like, I think 20 to 25 minutes. I don't know if it was just our oven wasn't as hot as theirs or what, um, or maybe I read the instructions wrong, but just a heads up, if you do try this recipe, just cook them until the tops are lightly browned. Let me know down in the comments if you guys live somewhere where it gets snow every year or if you live in a warmer state. As I stated earlier, we live in Minnesota. We were both born and raised here and I am so ready for the first snowfall this year. I love winter. We can go snowmobiling, ice skating, ice fishing. There are just so many fun winter activities that we love to do. The only thing that I could do without is those below zero temps with wind chill. I can deal with the cold, I can handle the snow, but it's those negative temps with blowing wind that I could do without. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. The team goes in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. Hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. It has been a while since our kitchen sink has been completely emptied out so I could deep clean it and scrub it. So I'm gonna take full advantage. I'm grabbing some of my Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser and just because it was so dirty, I ended up squirting a little bit of Dawn dish soap as well. And the sink came out sparkling, perfect, good as new. to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. No. It's the time of year. Winter wonderland. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. I feel like a broken record, but you guys, I cannot wait to decorate for Christmas this year, especially this kitchen. Last year, I don't know if any of you guys remember, if you do, let me know down below in the comments, but we had like a temporary wood countertop that my husband cut and then we wrapped it with like that faux marble, like a sheet of it. Um, it wasn't ideal, but it did work. And we had it like that for a few months until we were able to get countertops installed. And we also didn't have cupboards. We didn't have a working sink. And this year, 
The kitchen is like 90-ish percent done. We still have to do backsplash, trim work, little things like that. But we also have our range hood built this year. Ugh, I just love this space so much, you guys. I'm thinking I might try to hang some garland above our kitchen window, maybe with some twinkling lights. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. I'm also considering purchasing a few festive kitchen rugs for this kitchen. Like I said, our theme this year is gonna be white and red, so I think a nice red, pop of red for kitchen rugs would make this space pop. So let me know if you guys have any good recommendations for some red rugs. They don't necessarily have to be Christmas themed. I'm just going for more of the red vibe. So if you have any good deals or you've seen like Walmart, Target, Amazon, wherever, let me know down below in the comments. Our vacuum has been giving us a little bit of trouble over the past few weeks and for the life of us, we could not figure out what was wrong with it. I took it all apart, I cleaned it, I cleaned out the filters, everything. And it would just, it randomly, like it vacuums just fine and then it would just shut off. And it wasn't out of battery. I, I just, I don't know what was going on with it. But today I finally figured out that there was a slight clog or blockage in the lowest portion of the vacuum. I don't know how I missed this when I gave it a deep clean, but I must have just caught it in the right light today to see that there was something stuck. So once I took it apart, cleaned that out, put it all back together, it has worked like a charm. I haven't had any issues since. So here is your reminder to give your vacuums a thorough deep clean routinely because I would have been so sad if that was it for our Dyson. Go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the I'm going to finish up vacuuming all of these floors. My husband and our puppy were on their way back home. I really hope you enjoyed today's clean with me and that Christmas haul. I will be linking everything that I can find down below in the description box. Before you go, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you made it until the very end of today's video, please comment any Christmas emoji down in the comments. It can be a Christmas tree, a Santa Claus, a snowflake. Let's just fill the comment section with Christmas cheer. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you all back here on Thursday for some more cleaning motivation. Bye you guys. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you